And furthermore, Harold, what you did was dangerous. I didn't know your mother, but your father sure as heck didn't raise you to behave the way you do. Sneaking out late to get drugs and partying drunk underage. What the hell, Harry? You do know you were part of the reason Laurel has insomnia, Larry has vivid nightmares, and you cost your dad nearly all of his damn salary. Whatever, Trina. You are damn lucky your dad and Larry are gentlemen, Will would have totally. Yeah, 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 whatever, shush now. On the contrary, I do believe this is quite a fitting punishment. You go, Trina. Let him have it. Sustained. Continue, Trina, dear. If you only knew half the irreparable damage you have caused to the psyches of Laurel and Larry, and undoubtedly your father even. My ears hurt. Damn! That girl's so loud I can hear her all the way in here. She probably got that one from Philippe. You always see the sweet, gentle side of him. He's like a giant, soft, cuddly bunny rabbit. But who, boy, you've never seen that man get angry. I've only seen it happen one time, and it was downright frightening. And if you don't straighten out, you might wind up dead. Do you understand me? Hush now. You want me to hush? Yes, my ears. Well, how about you stop drinking and doing illicit drugs for one? Also, when your dad tells you to do something, it isn't a suggestion. The Met, shut up, Trina. You're giving me a headache. Ara. You are a headache. I'd better check on Joe. He said he was gonna be here. No signal. Okay, now I'm getting worried. Right, we're done. <laughs> oh my gosh! Come in, base. We will need paramedics. Send enough for four. There could be more. Roger that. Young man, can you tell me what on earth happened? I believe the others are dead. There's no sign of a pulse or anything. Their bodies are cold, and there are multiple blunt traumas and lacerations on all three. All females in their late teens. Did you call for the defib? Yes, Dan. All we can do is hope for some miracle. Fox!